Hey folks, I thought I'd make a video since uh, a couple months ago I bought a Victorinox uh, Enox 5 watch. This is the ladies edition and just give you a few thoughts, a few details. So we're not going to do some slow motion unboxing, but I uh, thought I'd let you see the sort of Russian doll setup that it comes with. We've got a box within a box, paperwork at the bottom, and here's the primary box. Ta-da! do a pretty snazzy job packaging it up so that you can feel special and like it's worth uh, how much money you spent when you open it up and then this pops out here so get all that out of the way it comes with this uh, protective blue um, sort of bump shield I don't know what you call that otherwise uh, which I don't usually wear on there but I'm just showing it to you now uh, so this is the Victorinox Enox 5 watch. It's the women's watch. It's uh, 37 uh, millimeters across. The lugs are 18 millimeters. Uh, it's analog quartz. It's water resistant to 200 meters. It's got this paracord uh, band by, uh, let's see if I can tap that for you, Naimaka. They've got some branding on there. And yeah, it's really swell. I like it a lot. Um, let me take this off because I don't actually use it. I don't like it at all. It's to protect this pretty uh, non-rotating uh, bevel. You can see I've got some scratching on there, but I think that's just fine. It makes me think of a wedding band where it's all um, high polish when you get it, and then you live life, and the patina sort of makes it more brushed finished over time, and I suppose that's what will happen here. Um, I bought this watch because Victorinox advertised it as sort of, you know, being ready for adventure. And I think they even had like a truck running over it or something and it not breaking. That seems excessive. But I like to wear my watch all the time versus taking it off when I'm doing hard work, whether it's, uh, you know, in the yard or working on the motorcycle or banging around the house doing DIY stuff. So I thought, hey, that, that sounds like it might suit me to go ahead and do that. And uh, I don't wear it if I'm doing anything goopy uh, where I work, um, which is in a healthcare setting, but mostly I'm not doing goopy stuff and I'll leave it on. But it's not hard to take on and off. Um, it's just got this little clasp at the back and you can see it just sort of slides in there. I think the newer version of this watch has a slightly different latch system on the paracord watches, but this works fine for me. One complaint I had read in a review, which is true, is that they felt like the band slipped and became loose. I don't mind kind of wearing mine dangling down a bit more bracelet-like, but you can snug it up and if you give it a good snug, it will stay put, but it does have a little bit of a tendency to loosen up and I just tend to leave it in the loosened up um, condition. So yeah, what else might I have to say? Oh, the other thing is um, it does not have uh, a date here. It does have luminescent hands, um, but you really have to hold it up to your face to see it at night. They're not very bright, uh, which I've heard also as another complaint. I got this paracord uh, band, which I was excited about because uh, leather straps, if they get wet a lot, can become kind of gunky or um, just degrade and rubber bands tend to just irritate my skin. So I thought, oh, this might be nice. And uh, yeah, it dries pretty quick. Um, or at least if it's wet, it doesn't feel wet while it's drying. So I really like that about it. They've got these little speckles in there, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah, so there we have it. Uh, if you try to get one of these new, they're about, I don't know, six, 700 bucks, but it's easy to find them new um, via secondary retailers for as low as in the 200s, which is what I paid for this watch. I think there's probably no chance in the world I'd spend $700 on a watch that I'm planning to bang around with. But anyway, I think it looks really nice. I recommend it in the $200 price point. It's not too heavy. I think I did read that the newer watch um, version of this, again, other than having a different clasp closure uh, design system there, uh, that it is a little bit lighter. So that might be nice, especially if you're 
um, a lady and just don't like all the super G-Shock type bulk factors. Um, yeah, I'll give you guys a little photo montage of uh, my recent trip to Baja where I put this thing through its paces. Also, a quick shout out to Anne at the Vine Climber who inspired this video as when she's not destroying her Victorinox pocket knives, she sometimes forays into making Cassia watch videos. So thanks Anne for the idea. Congrats on your 4,000 plus subs. Cheers to you. Man, I don't know what to say. I don't know if it's my love affair with Victorinox in general or just that this watch is so great, but I haven't worn a watch regularly since the early 2000s, or at least maybe 2010, whenever about smartphones came in. And so uh, I'm really surprised. This watch must be great that I've actually worn it consistently, even though I have a clock in my pocket. Uh, it certainly makes me feel sporty. So that's, that's worth a few points right there, if nothing else. All right, until next time.